Hi, this is Nick Wigdahl with a report for Agri Insight. It's early February, the beet season is still in full swing and we're looking at the Ropa Tiger 5, plus something else very interesting. Key features on the machine are a self-leveling mechanism that compensates for slopes of up to 10 degrees. This provides better traction, improved harvesting and claim Ropa reduced fuel consumption. The whole machine is powered by a 626 horsepower Mercedes-Benz engine. A continuous variable transmission helps to reduce fuel consumption and a top speed of 40 kilometers on the road is useful for contractors. At the rear, 1050 by 50 R32 tires are fitted to both sets of axles. We have been privileged to get a first glimpse of a prototype beat chaser developed by German firm Bergmann. CTM Hartley, who are the importers for Roper, have been testing the Bergmann alongside their Tiger 5. Bergmann is not a name associated with the sugar beet, but it is no stranger to large trailers. At Agritechnica 2013, it introduced its massive three axled 43 cubic meter grain chaser. The chaser has a capacity of around 39 cubic meters. It is able to hold a full tank from the harvester, including the beet that is harvested during unloading. This equates to around 35 tons. The low height on the right hand side of the chaser allows easy unloading from the harvester, which does not have to jack the elevator up too high. Bergman is experimenting with the use of crab steering on all three axles and this can be used at all times in the field including when the chaser is being loaded. Tires are fairly large being 710 by 50 on R26.5 and on a fairly heavy land they were making a shallow impression. A chaser of this size requires some serious grunt and on the day we visited it was being towed by a Fent 939. The chaser itself unloads very rapidly and the engineers have managed to get the moving floor and elevator to work smoothly together. The elevator is 4 meters long and this allows the building of clamps that are optimally suited to the use of a mouse. Bergman has not confirmed whether this machine is actually going to be put into production. But remember, this is an Agritechnic year. So look out November 2015. It might be worth visiting the Bergman stand. We hope you've enjoyed this production. Follow us on Twitter and YouTube at AgriInsight or go to our website agriinsight.co.uk. More productions will be coming up soon.